It's February the 1st. Television weathercaster Phil Connors reassures his viewers that an approaching blizzard will miss Western Pennsylvania. Alongside his new producer Rita and camera operator Larry, Phil travels to Punk Sutani for his annual coverage of an annual festivity held in the town. Phil, being cynical and a typical misanthrope, makes no secret of his contempt for the assignment, small town and the hicks who lived there, asserting that he will soon be leaving the station for a new job. Phil goes about the assignment with no enthusiasm, as this is his fourth year in a row covering the same event. Having botched his weather prediction, Phil is forced to spend the night in the small town, waking the next morning to the same song on the radio and hearing the same conversations from the town's people. Phil thinks he has a bad case of deja vu. Stuck in a time loop of the same day repeating itself over and over, Phil takes advantage of his knowledge pertaining to the day's events, doing some pretty awful things. This is the premise for Groundhog Day, a groundbreaking comedy made in the 90s. The phrase Groundhog Day has become a common term to reference a repetitive, unpleasant and monotonous situation. People sometimes refer to their life being like Phil's life in Groundhog Day, continuously and unhappily going through the motions of life day after day. Welcome to Relentless Man. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell. Please share our channel and look out for our upcoming videos. Are you living in a Groundhog Day scenario? What does your day consist of? Without asking people individually, it is pretty much the same for everyone. Get out of bed, feel like you're not having enough sleep, wake up kids for school, get showered, shaved and ready for work. Wake up kids for school, grab a coffee and if you're lucky enough, a few bites of breakfast. Threaten kids to get out of bed, you can see where we're going with this. Our world is, by some free thinkers accounts, structured to keep us on a perpetual cycle of monotony and chasing dreams that many of us will never achieve. We work for corporations and bosses who through our tireless work rake in profits and benefits we can only imagine. We are like Phil, living the same day every day. So how do you get out of your not so comedic Groundhog Day? Intentional living. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Victor E. Frankel What is intentional living? Living with intent means being aware of one's fundamental beliefs and willingly to try to reflect these beliefs in one's behavior. Living with intent is being aware of who you are and what you want and choosing to commit to attitudes and decisions which align with this self-image. We all have daily tasks that need to be completed. Most of these tasks are programmed into our brains. Our brains have developed an unconscious decision-making capability that controls much of our lives without us even realizing it. The unconscious decision-making system is a double-edged sword. It allows our lives to run smoothly and safely, but can also hinder us from experiencing the important things in life. This can result in a loss of meaning, energy and enthusiasm. How do you start living with intent? Living with intent is a journey and every journey starts with putting one foot in front of the other. The process of learning to live with intent is as individualistic as the individual themselves. The process needs to be tailored to your circumstances and lifestyle. Tips to start your journey Number 1. Prioritize your mental and emotional wellness just as you prioritize going to work, taking kids to school or sports activities, you need to make the choice to invest in your emotional well-being. Mental and emotional well-being are the foundation to living any form of healthy and rewarding life. Life is made up of choices and becoming intentional means you must consciously choose to empower yourself by investing in your self-awareness journey. Mental and emotional well-being is a precursor to living an intentional life. Number 2. Know who you are Most of us operate on autopilot, gliding through life. 
We all have unique talents, passions and skills. Becoming more confident and knowing your strengths and your capabilities makes you realize how unique you really are. Set some time and energy aside to do this. Number three, compass of core values. Your personal core values are the guiding principles behind your decision-making process. Examples of core values include acceptance, adaptability, awareness, balance, calmness, community, compassion, creativity, discipline, and hundreds more. Find five you want to focus on and start living your life with these values in mind. Number four, set intentions for your life. Once you recognize your core values, start setting intentions of how you want to show up each day and align them with your future life aspirations. Setting intentions is not goal setting. Intentions are flexible and adaptable. When setting your intentions, focus and block everything out that is distracting you. Make sure your intentions deeply resonate within you. Connect to your why. Your why is what drives you to achieve your goals and move through life. Leave your years behind and try to have self-confidence in your process. Be accountable in setting out your intentions daily and be more driven and focused in your own life. Get in the habit. Habit formation is the process by which behaviors become automatic. Habits can form without a person intending to acquire them but they can also be deliberately cultivated or eliminated to better suit one's personal goals. The amount of time needed to build a habit depends on multiple factors, including the individual and the intended behavior. While you might be able to pick up a new habit in a matter of weeks, some research indicates that building healthy habits can also take months. Living with intent may take some time to master, but getting into the habit of communicating your intentions to yourself will speed up the process. But what do you say to yourself? Where do you start? The following are only a fraction of the intentions you can use daily. Use them as a guide and adapt them to your own circumstances. I accept myself as enough. Setting the intention that you are good enough is a wonderful way to banish any insecure and negative thoughts that hold you back from your intent. I will not be afraid to try difficult things. Having self-confidence will give you the tools to take on any task, no matter how difficult. Trying these difficult tasks and failing is winning. Failure is a lesson and a powerful one at that. I intend to do my best today to achieve my goals tomorrow. Doing your best each day to achieve your goals is important. Say to yourself, I am going to go in with 100% and do everything to the best of my ability. I intend to do something fun today. If you are driven and work all the time, you will burn out. You need to put aside some time to have fun. Part of a balanced life means having fun. I will look for the positive side in negative situations. This powerful mindset shift helps you live a fuller life. By focusing on the positive and the lesson in adversity, you can handle negative situations far better. I intend to be grateful for three things today. Practicing gratitude will bring you peace of mind and switch your mindset from lack of abundance to accepting what you have as being enough. I will forgive those who wrong me so that I may be at peace. Holding a grudge is a mental and emotional burden that saps your energy and happiness. Forgive and move on with intent. I will control what I can control. Focus on what you can control and let go of what you cannot. I will develop a healthy relationship with money. Having a good relationship with money is key to having a more driven and productive life. Living in a time loop like Groundhog Day's full is not permanent. Phil, after becoming depressed by living every day as the one before, sees himself for what he really is and changes from the inconsiderate callous cynic into the townspeople's favorite. Living with intent is a choice, your choice. If you are wanting to be more present in the now, feel less worried about the future, better manage your emotions, and to live a more joyful and conscious life. Mastering and living with intent might be just for you. Thank you for watching Relentless Man. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. Share our channel and look out for our upcoming videos.